ik ben Darla en uh, ik uh, ben vandaag hier voor een uh, nieuw kleurtje. Um, ik wil heel graag een zilvergrijs met uh, aan de onderkant een felle kleur, dus een roze of oranje. Oké. Okay. Darla wants a new color. She wants uh, to stay a bit in this hairstyle. And uh, first we're going to bleach the hair, then color it in two colors. But that you always see. Wil je alsjeblieft een rondje draaien, wil je turn for you in the rest of the world. And all the grown out is grown out since the last time. Dank je wel, thank you very much. Welcome. Hello friends on YouTube, gonna do her hair, not with a beer, but with a bleaching product. <laughs> gonna tell you that, but first of course I start with protection to color her hair, or to decolor her hair. I'm wondering how much this goes out, but it doesn't matter because we color it also in a friendly color. First I'll light it up. I made her a, a bleach, put in a protection. Of course I protect my hands. Major bleach on 9%, that's 30 volume. Starts applying the bleach on the outro. She has a warm color, so I put in a fiery blonde of Swatskov. Start applying on top in the natural fold. I also put a plex in. Plex is from uh, Rover Hair. And the other perfect protection I put in is from uh, is from Profana. And this gives a smoothy feeling to the bleach pro uh, product because there's an oil in it. It captures the ammonia. And it's very gentle to work with. And so I apply the bleach on all my hair. I applied all the bleach and it goes very fast, so I wonder how long it will take. So I control it in 15 minutes, mostly do uh, with bleach. And then um, when it's on the, on the same level, I will take it into the ends. First, wait 15 minutes. Close my foil, not too close, just a little bit more air between the plastic and our hair. So there's space between it, not that it's flat on the bleach. So it's just air, air, air. We'll be back. Okay, I waited uh, 15 minutes to now open the plastic. I'll show you how light the color already is. It's ultra light. Now I leave it open and I put on the length also a bit bleach so I can put in a new color afterwards. And I have to get rid of all the gold colors because uh, when the gold tones are out it's much easier to call it in a grey colour, otherwise it will be a little bit greenish. I don't like that at all. So this I'll leave on for 5 minutes, then rinse it out. Okay, back from colouring. Now she loves to have a grey undertone and some orange colours on top. So I will certainly make the underlines in a grey color. It's a vivid color, vivid color of um, Parfana. Start applying the dark color in the underlines and then work up and fill in with a, a, a very hard orange color. First apply the grayish color.
I didn't put anything on it, so it just rinsed out the color. Nothing more than that. Take the first part from the upper hair layer side also with it. Coming to the part on the upper hair. First applying, of course, the grayish color. Lifting up the length. Taking my orange colors. I massage them into the hair. in between, take a new part of the upper hair, take my orange color again, and again massage it into the hair. Ja, dat is muziek maken inderdaad. Ja. Dat is volgens mij niet gewoon... Uh... Nee, dat is geen muziek voor. Nou, alle profane colors are on. Leave it this way. Don't put anything on it, just lay one part to the left, one part to the right, uh, massage it into each other so you have no hard lines in it. So leave this and then rinse it out and go to cut the hair. Cable back from coloring, after 10 minutes we rinse it out, the hair is in a wonderful condition. Now she wants a playable hairstyle, not short, just hair to have fun with. So. That's what I'm going to make her. I do this by taking the hair up and the opposite lines, just in slice techniques, give it a jumpy effect. I'll show you that from the other side so you can see what I'm doing. Take the hair up, lift them over, and just with the tip of my scissor. Secure the five and a half. Creating length by slicing. Lifting all the hairs from the right side over to the left side and connect them all on the same length. So I'm certain that I have on the other side more length. Lift them over. Lay in the back and start slice cutting. Work into the neckline, turning in the opposite lines. Making sure the hair can jump up. Get rid of the tips. Point cutting on the top.
carrying over the routing, chipping back to you. Slice got to get into the neckline. Creating nice soft lines. There it has to the front. You see all lovely flame of all the hairs. Later as the natural roundings go in, close my scissor at the end. This way you don't pull on the hairs. Take the hairs over the rounding. Watch out my lines go in. Again, lay them off the rounding, jump in, go out, just follow the natural lines. And just watch the pattern of the colors. It's very important to see if there is a structure into the colors also. Otherwise it would be a blunt line and don't want this into the higher stop. Go to the front again. First go to the center of the skull. Again, comb the hairs in the right direction. Lay them in the natural fold. Watch at the chin line. Go in and gently slice cut the line down. Take a line on it, come in the right direction. Give some slice techniques. Show you the fall of the hair from the side. You see how it looks in, in the wet lines. So I'll cut to the longer side. Take it over. This is my guideline. Part of the first section. On the ear. Set the hairs aside, comb the hairs to the back, go in with the slice technique. Copy the chin line again. So I know that I have the natural shapes, they always work the best. Take some new hair on it, lay it in the same roundings, go in with the slice technique again. Point cut the ends, come to the back, 
Lift the hairs over, twist them around. In the freehand style, control the line. Lifting the hairs up. Using deep slice techniques. So cut in and make sure the line stays playable. There's not a hard line on the ends. Take two parts together, the left side and the right side. Watch the guidelines and give it a jumpy effect. Go on the same line again. Lift them over to the other side with a point cut technique. Connect them to each other. And the hair really love, it's lovely to feel. It's a wonderful condition, ultra smooth. Now the only thing I have to do is the neckline. So I part the up hair away. In your direction, so you can see it. Later, has the natural lines. And only with slicing, create a one of the neckline. Lay some upper hair in it and just give it a playable effect in the same lines. Comb the hairs to the back, lay them in the rounding, I'll show you that also. Lay them in the rounding, using her skull as a guide. Start with ultra thin slice techniques and give it the same playable effect that I did on this side. So for the cut, now I can blow dry your hair. Blow dry the hair, use a, a shaper. This is shape of Lacme. It's a wonderful product. It's uh, all products, there's no gas in it.
sofa blow dryer. And the first thing I'm going to use is a dirty angel. You always should hear the marble. It gives a, a much amount of volume to the hair. It works like a, a soft clay. I love it a lot. Then I use a soft wax. Just to give it that crazy feeling. A little bit of hairspray, also not too much. Just to give it that wow feeling. And this is a new hairstyle and new color. Thank you for watching. Till next time on YouTube. Okay, my love, you may turn around to show the world your new hairstyle, new color. And I thank you for being my model. It's a sassy hairstyle. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Hello, I'm your hairdresser for today. Do you know already what style you want? Hello, I'm your hairdresser.